best way to improve your game is to take lessons on a regular basis from a good instructor, ideally a PGA of America professional. But in between those lessons, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're practicing the right things. For connected golfers, that's a lot easier these days because there are products and services that are gonna allow you to maintain communication with your pro and basically take virtual golf lessons like you've never been able to do before. So believe it or not, the first smartphones came out in the mid 2000s. The first iPhone came out in the summer of 2007. And pretty much since that time, professionals on the PGA Tour have been using them to take videos of their swings on the practice range on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays before PGA Tour events and send them remotely to their instructors, no matter where those instructors were in the world. It was a really good system for pros and their students to be able to keep in touch and be able to keep tabs on each other. Well, you can obviously do that with your professional, take a simple video clip and send it along, but there are a lot of products and services out there now that will help connected golfers take that to the next level. For example, this is a video clip that I was able to capture using my phone in a system called V1. Now V1 allows me to take really high speed video of my swing and then send it to my instructor. So I was able to take that video clip and send it using V1 to my instructor, Susie Whaley. Yes, that Susie Whaley, the former president of the PGA of America. And she was able to put on that, using V1, different lines and different mechanisms and send me feedback about what she saw. So as you move away from this golf ball, what I want you to notice is this left bicep really quickly gets off your chest. So when you think about it, that's a really powerful tool. During a lesson, a PGA of America professional can give you all kinds of feedback that's gonna help you hit better shots. But you wanna be able to keep doing that, to build that into something that's gonna become a habit, something that's gonna become instinctive. And that comes from repetition of doing it the right way. Using systems like V1 and interacting back and forth with your teaching professional is gonna to help to make sure that that investment that you made in that instruction stays on track. You're gonna build more permanence and you're doing that using technology. Another company in this space that's helping people take virtual golf lessons is Rapsodo. This is Rapsodo's mobile launch monitor. And like other launch monitors, it provides you with some really interesting data about all the shots that you're hitting, things like ball speed, carry distance, and shot apex, et cetera. But you can also go into Rapsodo's app and purchase lessons from instructors that you may have never seen in person, never even had a relationship with. But by capturing the data using Rapsodo and putting it on top of films that you can take using your smartphone, it merges those two things together and then allows the instructor on the other end to see not just the data about your shot, but your physical swing as well, as well as a tracer pattern of the shot that you just hit. All these technologies and services are gonna make it really easy for connected golfers to stay in touch with their instructors and make sure that they're reinforcing the good habits that they're trying to acquire during their lessons. It's also gonna help instructors monitor their students' progress so that the relationship becomes much more two-way. Then, when it's time to buy equipment, this is the kind of information that you can share with a good custom fitter. So not only will the fitter know what kind of clubs you're interested in buying, but they should be able to see the relationship you have with your teaching instructor and find out exactly what kind of things, from a technique standpoint, you're working on. So when they build clubs for you and make recommendations, they not only can make recommendations based on what they see that day, but also where you or instructor are trying to go with your swing and with your game. So for connected golfers, distance is no longer gonna be something that stands in the way of them getting the kind of golf instruction and assistance that they're gonna to need to try and get better, shoot lower scores, and have more fun.